So last time we spoke, you didn't answer the question about Nori being the reason why men of business didn't come out. You made a post alluding to that. What's the story on that? Men of business? No, 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 no. Uh, I didn't make no reference towards that. Like, like it didn't come out because of him. Yeah, you made some post on YouTube saying that, or uh, remember this, or like. Oh yeah, yeah, but because because you know that like, like our relationship, like remember you know what I'm saying that like, because because you know what 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 are you talking about? Huh? What are we talking about? Thug shit. He was saying that shit still. You know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying like that's that's that was in the archives. You know, I, he did a song with me. So I was trying to remind him. That was in the beginning. I was trying to remind him, yo, it's your boy Q, nigga. Because you said something else on the on the thing though, the caption you were like, uh, something like, oh, he don't want to remember why this never came out or, or something like that to that effect. Oh yeah, because Joe. Oh okay, so that was directed towards Joe, not not yeah, Noel. Yeah yeah yeah, like, you know, because I think that was when he was saying that you know what I'm saying he don't know what Joe be doing, like you know what I'm saying he be always trying to hide, he, you know, now out of nowhere he just. Everything that's being said that I'm saying about that Joe did is like, but he didn't do it. Look, he got a contract. It says twenty uh, percent in crayon, like math crayons. The contract was made in crayons. That's what the f they doing right now. It's like, it's like everything, everything. Uh, you know, he's the demons. The demons must cut him. What the f are you talking about, man? So, 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 so. Anyway. It's just, it's, 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 it's a lot of spirituality that goes along with this that I see maybe, and I'll be bugging or how I see things. Uh, but that's how I see them. That's how I see them. And, and I'll be trying to be nice. I really, I, I'm tr they, they, me, my courteously, like me being courteous to certain them, like even Nori, like even Nori, because at the end of the day, you're not in my team, you're against me, right? So you know what it is when it's war, right? You know what it is when it's war. It ain't no fucking, oh, you know, wait a minute, let me get out of the way. Bullets is coming. No, it's trakadaba. Everybody gets it. And I'm not saying that figuratively, you know, like realistically. I'm just saying like whenever, you know what I'm saying, uh, the opposite teams, they got to get what they, they got to get. And that's usually, you know what I'm saying, our best shot, this team's best shot. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying, this shot destroys you. Sorry, but, you know, yeah, if you play it. All in fair war. If we're playing like a fucking imaginary game, yeah. But when you you know that there's you know some kind of problems, you know that there's some kind of blood that got spilled, you know that there's some families behind that has a trilogy of fucking, uh, a legacy of of fucking unsolved issues, and you jump in that, my courtesy, me being courteous. It'll only be as courteous, but they, Joe don't give a fuck. Joe just throws him because he says whatever. He sells him whatever. But when you're a real person, you're a real, a real chick, whatever, you think about things like that. You'd be like, should I step? This is too deep. Maybe. And that's that, like, you know, if you step, you step. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, where do you step? But it's just, I feel like they go overboard. You know what I'm saying? Like, they go overboard, especially by using Pun's name in vain, the way they use it. You know what I'm saying? Pun, pun would have been out here with a smack all them niggas in the face, and I would have been right there with him. Did you ever have a conversation with Nori? Not even Nori. I'm not even talking about Nori, but Joe and them niggas. Nori's like a far distant cousin that only comes, you know what I'm saying, when, like, in, in, in the holidays. To, that's who he was. He was a distant cousin that came talking... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Talking mad fast. Uh, he makes it seem though that him and Pun were so close, though. Of course, of course, they they make it seem, and they, and they probably he probably get caught up in those feelings, but he, but he's using he's misusing the feelings. He's using those feelings and he's bringing it back to Joe. Like Joe is the one that 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 that, that needs to hear that. His son needs to hear that. His daughters need to hear that. His wife, not fucking Joe. Joe just getting money off pun. That's it. Nigga. I told you that. He had love, but he had more love for the business. He lost his cash cow when he lost him. That's why he was panicking. Because that's how he had, he could have thought 
of the master plan of getting me to fuck out the way to skip my turn, make himself go, buy some fucking shit with R. Kelly and them niggas, and, 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 and get that shit going, and say, let me get this nigga cute the fuck out of it. And he, you know, he, he orchestrated the whole shit. That's what he did. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't have had time, he wouldn't have had the, 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 the mental to do that. To do that. And still be doing it. 